Dr Luke Evans. Number 11, please, Ms Speaker. <coughs> uh, there are more than two million adult victims of domestic abuse in England and Wales, and in Leicestershire uh, last year there were 21,000 domestic abuse-related incidents and crimes uh, in his county. And so we know, as a, the Government uh, is determined to bring forward the landmark domestic abuse bill uh, to enact this legislation as quickly as possible to protect and support victims of domestic abuse and bring perpetrators to justice. Dr. Thank you, Mr Speaker. As a GP, one of the hardest types of cases are domestic violence cases. Both they're difficult to identify and difficult to deal with, and that's sad. I'd like to ask her, what is she doing and her department doing to help educate those in primary care, not only how to identify people who suffer with domestic violence, but also how to signpost them to the correct services? Well, may I uh, thank my honourable friend and, and welcome the fact that he brings all of his experience and expertise into the House. Uh, all staff working in the, in the NHS must undertake at least level one safeguarding training, which includes domestic abuse. We have also published an uh, online resource for health professionals to improve awareness of domestic violence and abuse. And NHS England is developing a four year action plan specifically on domestic abuse to raise awareness amongst NHS staff to ensure that they have the skills to identify and to refer patients where appropriate, and also, of course, to address the issue of NHS staff who are victims themselves. Sarah Jones. 